These are just some of the weekly newspaper publications you can find in Saskatchewan. Papers from Fort Capel, Rosetown, Maple Creek, Whitewood, some over a century old, record keepers of entire communities. But their numbers are dwindling. Right now, 57 are represented by the province's weekly newspaper association, but at one time, nearly 160 were. Many have closed, others have merged, and those that remain are faced with a bumpy media landscape. And yet, there are some making the best of a challenging situation. So the World Spectator weekly newspaper in Mooseman is entering its 140th year of publication. And it serves Mooseman and a whole bunch of surrounding communities here in southeastern Saskatchewan. And the publisher of this paper says business here has never been better. This is the printing plate from the very first issue. The World Spectator is the province's uh, oldest surviving Actually, weekly newspaper. Publisher Kevin Weedmark took it over in 2002. It had a circulation of around 1,700 then. Now it's over 5,000. That's not including two additional regional papers the World Spectator publishes. Part of the secret to its longevity and profitability, Weedmark says, is that it's an independently owned publication. We are not focused on the bottom line. And if, if uh, um, we have a story that needs to be told, I mean, we'll take a two-page spread to tell it, or we'll take three pages to tell it, we'll take whatever it takes to get that story out there, because that's the important thing, and that's what people are looking for. Even if it means making space for ads from 140 businesses to create a special shop local section of a recent edition of the paper. And we add that all up and, and publish the section, you know, and, and let people know, you know, all these businesses together, you know, employ 3,000 or so of your friends and neighbours. They contribute 1.5 million in donations to local community projects. We don't tell people this is why you should shop local, we, we show them. We show them um, exactly what impact that makes. Hey Tyler, how are you doing? Hey Kev, good, good, good. good. It's the connections with businesses and by extension the larger community that are the lifeblood of any small town newspaper. It puts out interesting stories, garnering subscribers. Businesses publish ads to get sales from those subscribers. And dealership owner Tyler Thorne says the World Spectator gives him customers. Especially that banner ad on the front page, you know, we'll, we'll put a truck on there, you know, on special. And, uh, you know, I can remember specific examples of friends of mine saying, hey, I saw this on the front page of the paper. And, you know, within a few days we sell them the truck. So. And the World Spectator gets the money from its advertisers, something it's been pretty successful at. It also helps, of course, that Weedmark is on the board of the local Chamber of Commerce, something unheard of in larger media companies, but more common in small town markets. But the head of Saskatchewan's Weekly Newspapers Association says the health of his industry is mixed. While the World Spectator is clearly thriving, others are struggling. We've got a lot of newspapers that uh, have a lot of interest and a lot of readers in their communities. Uh, their problem is primarily a revenue um, problem. We've had uh, communities that have lost their own business bases and these traditionally used to be big supporters of the, of the newspapers. And that's not just a Saskatchewan issue. Data from the Local News Research Project out of Toronto Metropolitan University shows more than 500 local news operations closed across the country between 2008 and June 1st of this year. More than three quarters of those were community newspapers that publish fewer than five times a week. The head of the Local News Research Project says community newspapers are vital to democracy covering important council meetings, clearing up rumour and misinformation, and building community. But we know that journalism um, uh, provides uh, people with a sense of what their community is and who lives in it and how it functions. You're going to meet people and learn about them and learn about their challenges that they face or their successes, even though you don't meet them face to face. Perfect. Ashley Bocek knows many of the faces in Mooseman. She grew up here. Now she's a part-time reporter for the World Spectator, proving there's new blood in an old industry. I find I learn way more by 
interviewing people and hearing their stories than I would in reading a textbook about something. No one really my age reads the paper anymore or doesn't really care to read the paper and I think for me working here and our business, I think it's important to show that um, newspapers are still here and that this news in our local community is important and that your story is important. I went over them again just to make sure I'm getting There's everything. Some. And Casey's around? Yeah, she said she's available, so. Kevin Weedmark is still trying to convince Bocek to go to journalism school, but for now, she's sticking to a degree in education. Weedmark says the future of his industry might look bleak. Despite that, he sees opportunities. There's nothing magical about what we do here. If we can make a success of this business in Mooseman, Saskatchewan, there's no reason the same couldn't be true across the country. And I see probably just all that needs to change is just an, an attitude that this is a this is a, a service, a public service first and foremost, a community service. And he says he and his team will be there to cover it. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Mooseman.